You are watching Time for Change TV with James Alexander. I lost my constituency to George Galloway by 800 votes at last year's general election. Mr. Blair, this is for Iraq. Galloway is a firebrand and gives some great performances and is a fierce critic of Tony Blair and the war in Iraq. I turned out to be right and you turned out to be wrong. <laughs> hey, you good pussy. Yes, good. But has the respect MP let down the very people who voted him into Westminster? George Galloway may not be up for eviction tonight from the Big Brother house, but should he be up for eviction from this house, the House of Commons? I would ask that question, wouldn't I? After all, I was the MP for Bethnal Green and Bow for eight years before George evicted me. I still live in the constituency, and I wondered what my former constituents thought of our MP leaving us in the lurch in his pursuit of celebrity. I went to find out. Delicious. Good girl. Good girl. Now make your lips a little cream all over your whiskers. I just wondered what, what people think about um, the Member of Parliament. He's a rubbish. He's a rubbish. I'm, I was in respect, but I'm resigning. Why? He's not working for people. He's going to make money. He's useless. He's a celebrity. He wants to be a celebrity? Get out. I think he's just disgusting. He's silly. He's absolutely outrageous. And all the problems we've got here, he's in there making himself look a fool. I never voted him in. Thank God for that. <laughs> I never voted him in. He's a liberty taker. Oh, you're great. He's on bloody world big problem. I mean, I'm sorry he knocked you off your, your perch, girl, oh. but at the end of the day, you know what? They should know better now. Do you know what I mean? He can go on Big Brother if he wants. What's wrong with that? Free country, that's right. Free country. No, he's, he's got a job to do and he shouldn't be earning extra money. Yeah. Sack him then, they doing, should do, doing a different job. But sack him, people vote Making a fool of himself as well. I bet he's still getting paid. Oh, you can be certainly yeah, sure of that. Right. Would, you, yeah. would you have gone on it then? <laughs> have gone on it? Not big brother. Now, I've been offered two um, yeah. celebrity shows and I've turned them down because you can't, well, you can't expect to be taken seriously. I was, I was, I was. <laughs> What do you think um, that some people in the Muslim community will think about being in it? Because the, the Muslim community gave some people a lot of grief, didn't they, about supporting someone like yeah, him? Yeah, but he only gave the Muslim community lies, what they wanted to hear. They believed him, he used them, he dumped them. He's got in an anti war and that's it. It's terrible. It really is terrible. You know? well, for some people, the word opportunism would spring to mind, but not me. Do you vote for him? Do you feel... Do you feel yeah, I did vote for him, but now I made a mistake, didn't I? Yeah, I didn't vote for him. I know how he is, anyway. He, you know I mean? It's all politics in here. Well, I should have voted for you, though, but I didn't vote. But next time I vote for you. Yeah. Thanks, mate. You know I mean? I'll remind you. And he's uh, cheating with the Bengali people, and he's going uh, to... Our community is divided. Do you think he used the community? He used the, com used the community. I think it's all right. I mean, I don't see any problem in that. I don't really think anything wrong with it, really. It's, yeah, it's, so do you think it's his It's his choice? It, I think it's his choice, yeah. I mean, you have to keep a sort of a, a bit of an aura around you, don't you? Well, yeah, no, I never managed to keep much of an aura around me, though. <laughs> well, it's, you know, I wouldn't go by what the newspapers say. Oh, yeah, maybe it's his right to go on Big Brother. What, yeah, of you know? course, of course, it is his right, it is his choice, but come on now. Come on now, it's for Jody Marshes and the Jordans of the world. One word, I be on oh, it now. It's sick, man. What, why is it rubbish? Well, why is it, why is it in his constituency? It's just a good job, it's Yeah, he's not doing his job, is he? Well, after speaking to my former constituents in there, it seems they're not very happy with their MP being on Big Brother. Personally, I don't disagree uh, with George Galloway going on to Big Brother for moral reasons, but I do think there is an issue that he's not there or available to do the hard graft of what being a good constituency MP is about. And that's why these people, all the people we've spoken to, are so angry with their MP. Earlier we spoke to Respect, who countered criticism Big Brother by turning to war in Iraq. I think it's really important 
to keep a sense of proportion here. Appearing on a stupid television program is pretty low down the league tables of political crimes. It doesn't compare, for example, with Tony Blair's decision to take us into an illegal war in Iraq, a war which has led to the death of hundreds of thousands of Iraqi civilians. So I think that sense of perspective is something that's been sadly lacking from the furore of publicity generated by the new Labour spin doctors. And I think it is important not to lose that sense of proportion. He's been a very, very active constituency MP. And uh, I must say that over the past few days, his constituency office has been full of constituents coming in and his constituency team have been helping them with a whole range of problems from immigration to housing uh, to uh, all sorts of personal problems uh, and their needs have been met uh, you know, very, very effectively. After Mr Galloway's election victory, a TV commentator said, Poor Una, can you imagine losing your job in front of 20 million people? Well, poor George, can you imagine losing your dignity in front of 20 million people? But the real losers are his constituents. All they want is a little respect. For more information about James Alexander and the Labour Party, please visit www.time-4-change.org.uk.